I think that's really something that uh, we need to think about in the future because um, we have had little, if no, progress in the last few years for our treatment of MDS. And it's really been basically um, disappointing that we only had few agents available. But now a lot of trials are ongoing in MDS and some are pretty advanced and also promising. And what I mean with promising, it's really venetoclax in combination with acetylcholine that is currently being studied. And um, I think um, that uh, we might be hopeful that it might also an effect in high-risk MDS patients. In addition, we have some um, treatment options that might become available for TP53 mutated patients. And we need to keep in mind, those patients are the ones that don't really respond to demethylating agents. Those are the ones that uh, have a high risk for AML evolution. So we need to think about other options. And here RPR246 is um, possibly an option for the future. And we've uh, learned uh, from the JCO published uh, paper published by Selman um, just this January that patients with TP53 mutations uh, respond Bond better to the combination with APR and SSIDDN than SSIDDN alone. So there I'm also hopeful. And uh, there are other uh, things going on, like the don't eat me signal destroyer that is currently being evaluated in AML, but also in MDS. And uh, in the same um, line, we also have novel therapies that are currently being investigated in low risk MDS. And here I would like to mention um, drugs that target the inflammation that is going on in MDS. And we do know that the inflammation probably triggers the bone marrow failure uh, in MDS patients. And by targeting the uh, inflammation specifically, um, we are hopeful that um, the bone marrow failure, meaning the cytopenia of patients, might also improve. So different approaches also for different patients, but I think it will probably be a combination of specific treatments for certain mutations, as well as more broadly treatments um, targeting apoptosis like venetoclax or inflammation uh, like other inflammatory drugs, anti-inflammatory drugs.